Hello everybody and welcome back to TDT Outdoors. Uh, today's video is about my PB brown trout, obviously if you read the title. And to do a little information about this quick, I'm not fishing these big waters. I'm not fishing Great Lakes. I'm not fishing rivers that connect to any kind of big lakes or anything. Um, I'm fishing small streams here in Wisconsin. You know, most of them are easy enough to walk across and or you can even jump across. Um, so it's pretty small water. And the reason that I like targeting these bigger fish in these small waters is, for one, it's a lot harder, which makes it a lot more rewarding when you do catch one. So that's kind of where my whole mentality is before all this. So the day of, I started fishing at about eight o'clock in the morning, checked out a new stream, walked it, didn't like it, wasn't really good, caught a few fish. Then I went to another stream, drove about 40 minutes to a new stream, walked about, I don't know, a mile, and there was two good holes. Uh, I tied on a woolly bugger and uh, caught a few good fish with those. I did catch one really, really beautiful fish out of a hole that absolutely smoked my, uh, my woolly bugger. But then I went to my third stream and I stopped at the bridge, looked, didn't look that great, but I was like, you know, I'm out here, I might as well walk it. And at this time, it's probably quarter to 12, uh, 11.45. And the most of the stream that I'm walking is really, really, shallow and narrow. Uh, I mean, the deepest I've seen it so far while I'm walking was maybe a foot or two at the widest, 10 feet, but when it was 10 feet wide, it was four inches deep. I'm walking this stream and I come to a giant hole. The really bad thing is right before this, about a minute and a half before this, my GoPro died. I just don't have any extra batteries with me or anything. Didn't have my tripod for my phone camera. So I cast a few times, I caught, you know, like a 12 inch fish. And I was like, all right, that's not bad. A few more times and then all of a sudden I lay in a, it, it feels like I set my my jig into a, a log and dregs, dregs peeling and everything and I'm like this is this is a really good fish. Get it into the net, get it measured and it measured 20 and a half inches. Absolutely gorgeous fish. I did take a little bit of video on my phone after I caught it. It, it really isn't that great of video, great great of film but this is one of my goals that I've been chasing for like two years now, and now that I finally accomplished it, I wanted you guys to be able to see it if you wanted to. So I'm gonna piece in a few of these video clips, um, show some pictures, I want you guys to see this fish. Um, and the cool thing was, is right after I let that fish go, I cast it again and caught about uh, like a 17 incher. Well, really, really upset I didn't have my GoPro going for this. It had 0% battery, and you cannot, you have no clue how upset I am, but I'm gonna try to set up my uh, my phone for a self timer camera thing here because I gotta get a picture with this thing. It's way, way too big. So uh, yeah, I'll show you guys when I get this guy back, but I'm gonna try to get a picture of him. And uh, God, out of here, that stream was so small and then there's this big pool. Catching uh, two small ones and I had some other smaller ones chasing and then oh my gosh, look at this thing, humongous. Small. There she goes. Look at that thing. Oh my gosh. Well, guys, that was unreal. My GoPro had beeped and said it died at about a minute before this. A minute before I got to this hole. And I was like, God damn, long ways to go back. I forgot my batteries in the car because they were charging. Oh, but yeah, that's by far my uh, PB Brown. In these small streams i mean you guys saw what i was fishing i mean it's it's wide there it's 10 feet wide but it's six inches deep i mean this is some really really small water except for this big hole right behind me that i found probably like 11 30 right now and i was waiting for the clouds to come over the sun give us a good overcast to cast because oh shit. Hey, I'm sorry I stopped that clip so abruptly there when I was talking, but my backpack had fallen in the water and my wallet and everything got soaked, but 
Yeah, I switched, um, I don't know where I was at talking, but I switched from that woolly bugger to a jig so I could cast farther and get deeper. Caught one fish, six or seven casts later, that fish hooked up and I got my reel set at a certain spot. So when it started pulling drag, I knew it was a good fish. Oh my gosh, dude. That thing was huge. So I kind of wanted to touch on fishing these small streams. There's a lot of people that don't like fishing these small streams. Um, I get a lot of people, like my brother, that even say, why do you always fish in your streams? Why don't you just go back to the places where you've caught fish before? And part of that is I like fishing, I, I like exploring, seeing new things, exploring new water, but I'm always searching too for that better bite. I'm also always searching for that stream that's got the most holes and the biggest fish in it. So it kind of just shows you with you know my, how my day went. I it was my third stream that I got to before I caught you know a really good fish or found something really cool. If I wouldn't have walked that 600 yards of really really shallow shitty stream, I never would have found this hole. So a little bit of advice to you guys, you know in the summer months is kind of when I do my exploring because the fishing is slower there. It's not so much if I'm catching fish or not. It's if I'm seeing the right kind of structure and you know, looking at how the stream looks to see if when it is prime time, fall, spring, um, really good fishing days, if these would be good spots to come back to and hit. So don't be afraid to get out there and explore new streams. Don't be afraid to walk a half mile to a mile of stream, a really shitty stream before it even gets good, because you never know. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I'm gonna have another video coming out soon. Um, I might make it a two video series of one of my best days ever trout fishing. So you guys stay tuned for that. And then hopefully after that, we'll have some deer hunting videos. And, uh, but yeah, it'll be on a deer season then. And I'm gonna try to film as much as I can for myself. Um, I'm gonna try to get out and film for a few buddies if I can. So I'm really hoping to bring some cool deer hunt content to the page this fall. Uh, but if not, I'll be trout fishing here and then, and then, like you guys know it, ice fishing's coming up, so stay tuned for ice fishing videos. I'm just going to try to bring as much awesome content as I can to the, to the page, and I uh, hope you guys stay tuned and uh, are excited for it as I am. And uh, yeah, thanks again for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time.